The payroll settings window in QuickBid is where you create and maintain all your wage types and labor burdens. The payroll settings window lives in the tools menu at the top of QuickBid. Items in the tools menu impact every bid in the selected database. After opening the payroll settings window, you see two tabs, wage types and burdens. Let's start with the wage types tab. Three wage types are already set up for you, union, open, and sub. Think of each wage type as a scenario in which you may perform work. Each scenario may require you to pay your workers different pay rates or labor burdens. For example, you may work with labor unions that have set rates, but you may also do some non-union work. You may also work in different states or counties with varying tax rates. Each scenario requires you to be flexible with each payroll class from bid to bid. QuickBid allows you to select a wage type on each bid or even each labor line without adjusting the payroll class every time. Keep in mind, you're just setting up the names of each wage type here. The actual pay rates are part of the payroll class. For more information about how to set up payroll classes, see the QuickBid training video titled Payroll Classes. If you need to add a new wage type, click the New button on the right. A new line appears in the list. Enter a name for the new wage type and press Enter. If you no longer use a wage type, you can delete it by selecting it and clicking the Delete button. However, you can't delete a wage type if it's in use anywhere in your database. You might consider renaming a wage type if you can't delete it. Just click on the name and change it. When you need to select a wage type on a bid, the options appear in a drop-down list in the order you see them on the payroll settings window. You should reorder your wage types so the most common selections are at the top. Use the move up and down buttons on the right to put them in whatever order you prefer. Once you're happy with your wage types, you can move to the burdens tab. But of course, you can always come back and add new wage types later. The burdens tab is where you set up all the other labor costs you're responsible for in addition to the hourly pay rate. There are four default burdens fees, insurance, tax, and labor. Fees cover any hourly union dues. Insurance is a percentage you might pay for providing health insurance to your workers. Tax is the percentage you pay to cover state or federal payroll and unemployment benefit taxes, like FICA, FUDA, or SUDA. Finally, labor is a general percentage you might use if you don't want to break out all of your burdens more explicitly using the other options. Like with wage types, you're just entering names here. You choose what values you apply to each payroll class in the payroll class detail window. To add a new burden, enter a name in the next available line. Next, choose the method QuickBid should use to calculate the burden. For example, labor burdens calculate at either a dollar amount added to the base rate or a percentage of the base rate. Then, like every other cost in QuickBid, you must assign a cost code to the burden. You can either type it in if you know it, or click the magnifying glass to open the cost codes list to select it. The final column allows you to override the burden percentage from the markups tab. The labor override checkbox is only available for a single percentage labor burden. You should only select this option if that burden percentage frequently changes. Otherwise, leave it unchecked, and the burden can still be adjusted if necessary from the payroll tab in a bid. You can delete a burden if it's not used anywhere in your database using the Clear button. You can also rename any existing burdens if you want to change them to something else. If you can't delete a burden and you don't want to change it, you can prevent it from appearing on the Payroll Class Detail window by unchecking the Active field on the left. Keep in mind, you don't have to set up a value for a burden if you don't need it. Setting up your wage types and labor burdens is essential for QuickBit to calculate the labor amounts accurately. If you need training, please submit a How Do I request from the training menu.